Hi, everyone. Welcome to Dishing Drama with Dana Wilkie Uncensored. We have officially moved to Patreon. Here's a sneak peek of Dishing Drama with Dana Wilkie. Welcome back, you guys, to part two of Matthew Perry. We're doing a, a dive, really, of all of his Batman references in this part of the show so that you guys could clearly understand what his intention was when he was posting at the end of his life about Batman and also Matman. And what's wild about it is at the end, you're not only going to get what he was talking about, but you're also going to get this bigger spiritual meaning out of it because of what ends up happening to Matthew Perry and the fact that it's so almost, I want to say, like godlike that his last post is the hot tub and then he dies in the hot tub just a few days later it just is all very kismic and just knowing how spiritual Matthew Perry is by the end you're going to see of the show today it's almost like a last wink before he leaves that he does unknowingly before he dies. It's really wild, and I can't wait to share it with you. But before we move on, I did want to acknowledge that they had Matthew Perry's funeral six days after he passed the following Saturday, and a lot of his celebrity friends went to the funeral to celebrate and also mourn his loss. And one of the people that attended was actor Hank Azaria. He played Phoebe Buffay, Lisa Kudrow's on again, off again boyfriend on the show Friends. And he had this to say about the funeral. He said, I was at the funeral last weekend, you know, sad. He was a hilarious man. So we would sort of be alternatively laughing and crying, remembering him. We've all had people we've lost. The world really lost him. In a way, it's nice to have the world sort of sharing with you. So that was nice. Now, they did play a song at the funeral that was Peter Gabriel and Kate Bush's Don't Give Up song. And I wanted to let you know that the reason they played that song at his funeral was it was actually Matthew Perry's favorite song. Now, I had some major loss this week. As you guys know, my dog Buffy passed away and I did a 20 minute dedication to the whole experience of what I went through with my dog. And I did get some winks that were pretty astonishing after my dog died, which I shared in my confessional video yesterday in the Patreon, like the first 20 minutes of it. Um, so I've done my mourning in that art and I'm not going to repeat it here. I know the people who aren't in the Patreon probably are worried about me because of my video on Wednesday because I explained that the next day I was going to have a really tough day. And a lot of the people knew what that meant because I had been with my dog Buffy for almost 17, 16 or 17 years. And I had to put my dog um, to sleep but I got some winks from the other side. And I thought, gee, this is so weird. I'm doing this show because <laughs> I never talk about this kind of thing. And I don't know, the fact that my theme of last week and this week's show was Matthew Perry's sort of winks to us. And, and I spent a lot of time on this show and then simultaneously went through the loss of my companion for 16 years. Just seems like good timing of all this. Maybe Matthew Perry's giving me a wink because... <laughs> I was going through a tough time. Who knows? But you're going to love the, today's show. So let's get into it. Come on, bitch, bitch, bitch let's go. <laughs> Now, Matthew Perry has shout outs in his book to Batman, which is how I was able to piece it together what he was doing on his Instagram feed and also get to the final message, which I'm going to share with you. So let's start with the first one that I found. I like literally went on like a treasure hunt through the book looking for Batman references. For the full scoop, join the Dishing Drama Dana Patreon. The link is in this audio description. It's only $6 a month and you'll get the best information and tea about the things you care about and even the things you don't know you care about. What are you waiting for? <laughs> 